hi all so today in this video we'll be covering how to run our test in parallel with playwright and pytest so this is very easy we do not have to change much in the code so whatever code we have written so far it would be same so we currently having i think three test cases right so in this playwright framework we have one test test 201 test 02 and test 03 right so um, yeah so these three test cases we have currently so let's run these three test cases in parallel mode so we need a, one extra package for that uh, so that package name is xdist okay so if i come here you can see uh, pytest xdist 2.5.0 this we need to install Okay, so it is saying like the PyTest exists plugin extends PyTest with the new test execution mode, the most used being distributing test across multiple CPUs to speed up the test execution. Okay, so that's what it is saying like we can use the parallel execution uh, as it is uh, using multiple threads. So you can uh, distribute our trace tests uh, in uh, three or four, whatever threads we can mention like pytest minus n and then we need to give the thread number uh, I mean the number of threads let's say we want five Chrome browser instance so it can uh, you can mention like five okay that's how we can do it so as of now we have only three days so three would be sufficient so let's copy this part and just paste it and hit install so it's saying we are using big version so requirement already satisfied so okay okay so let's check it whether it's we are having already or not so pip list I mean if it is already there then it will not install if it is not there then only it will install so probably we have already installed it earlier so yeah this I mean uh, this is there okay so we are good now let's run it so as you know like uh, let me check one second the contest file whether it is having uh, URL or not. Yeah, this is having a URL, but this doesn't have a URL. So what we can do just uh, yeah, we can use this one only. So phrasing equals to on output by test results. So let's let's remove this part because we do not need to trace for now. Okay, and I do not want to give any slow motion. So let's try without giving anything. Just the base URL and the headed. And let's see whether it's working or not. So, okay, I forgot to give the commands, right? Uh, minus n and five. So currently it is executing in sequential mode. Let's let, let it execute. So, as you can see this is executing in the sequential mode that's good we have just seen this thing and uh, okay and now let's give this flag minus in three so we want three thread three threads so that should be enough for this test uh, this three test to execute so let's try it so as you can see three chrome instance got launched and it just finished within six seconds right so earlier it took 17 seconds when we executed in non-parallel mode and this time it is taking only six seconds so there is a huge difference right so if you have 100 tests or 90 tests right so it would be just drastically only one one third of the time it will take so this is how you can do the parallel testing as well with playwright and this is this feature is not from um, playwright exactly but it is giving this feature is provided by pytest okay so this packages we have installed is coming from pytest so this is just additional plugin or package which you are using uh, to execute it with pytest okay and now uh, let's do one thing let's uh, use this one and then try this minus three 
and this time we want to execute in browser test dash browser equals to uh, firefox let's try that so it's giving some error because probably it is not working with firefox or what let's see that now it opened okay so it's giving some permission denied error so what we can do we can just delete it and now let me run it once again and maybe we do not need to give this output for now because automatically it should generate so I'm using Firefox instead of Firefox let's let's use Chrome Our browser channel we need to mention yeah so it created three instance of Chrome and it's done yep only 10 second it took so that's great so we have executed our test in parallel in Chrome and also we have used this tracing operation so you can see this trace.zip file got created uh, I think it is not the correct one because it is from 18th May and this should be the correct one so here we can see for every test it is creating a trace.zip file okay and one more thing I want to show you like uh, this uh, parallel mode will not work if you are giving like screenshots and all those things so we can see it right now so if I giving like screenshots or let's say video equals to on and now if I run it uh, you can see it is giving some error and the parallel mode is not working correctly right so this is a limitation uh, we cannot use parallel with giving like when we are giving um, video equals to one so that time it is not working okay so yeah I hope you got the idea and understood it please like share and subscribe thank you for watching